we cross paths with them all the time and we depend on them every day, but we don't provide them with very much attention. They are the hidden population in the United States of families that are at 100 to 200 percent of the federal poverty line. That's about 20 to 40 thousand dollars a year for a family of four. They are the working poor. People on the other side of the hospital check-in desk, cleaning cars on the subways at night. They are the people who might be teaching our children. These are the families that earn too much to be eligible for the main federal benefit programs. And that means they're really on their own. And as long as they are steadily employed, uh, as long as there's more than one earner in the household, as long as their children don't get sick and require the parents to stop out of the labor market to take care of them, they can not only manage, they're actually doing well. They are proud of themselves. They believe in the work ethic. They think of themselves as part of the great American labor force. They have actually pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps. And we want them to be able to fulfill that promise for the next generation and not see it slip backwards. But they're very vulnerable because they are one paycheck, one divorce, one illness away from falling back below the poverty line and losing all of the success trajectory that they've worked so hard to compile. And any time the poverty population increases, as it is during the present recession, that represents a serious threat to national stability. Then all the promise that we have suggested should be theirs because they are working hard and they did finish high school and they did do all the things that we tell people are the key to a solid future and it turns out not to be the case. Well, what's at stake for all of us is a big, big default on a promise of the American dream. They are America's missing class. And our future is intertwined with their future, and their future is the future of the whole nation.